Good morning, everybody. It's Charlene Fisher here. We have our Thursday upper body day, and we're going to need a few pieces of equipment before we get started. We're going to need 10s, 12 and a half pounders, 15 pounders, so a variety of dumbbells from small to medium to big, and a kettlebell. And if you don't have a kettlebell, that's okay. We're going to be doing kettlebell swings later, and you can just use a dumbbell for that if you'd like. All right, besides that, we are going to do 10 different exercises today using dumbbells or a kettlebell. So we're going to be doing our first exercise with the dumbbell lying pullover, oh, which brings to the point that you're going to need one other piece of equipment. I like to have my big ball with me because if I'm going to do anything on a bench during our workouts, I like to do it on my ball, but you guys can do it on your bench. So our dumbbell lying pullover, we're going to be doing a pullover with our heavier weight. So I've got my 15 pounder with me. Okay, we'll start out with that. Then we're gonna go to Arnold Press after that. So I'm using my 10 pounders for this, bringing them up, down and in. Then we're gonna do a bent over fly. And from there, we'll go into a kettlebell swing for our fourth exercise. All right, from there, we're gonna do a windmill. So I'm gonna use a 12 and a half pounder for this. So I'm gonna put that weight in my right hand. The left arm is up toward the ceiling. I'm gonna bring that weight down to the right foot, bring it up, and then rotate across. Bring it down, rotate it up and across. We'll do that for the 40 seconds on that one side. And then we're gonna do a renegade row. So we'll be on our plank. All right, doing a renegade row just means that we're rowing, alternating that hand while we're in plank. After that, we'll do the windmill on the left side with that rotation. Then we're gonna do bicep curls, and then we'll do a tricep extension over the head. Okay, so that is why you need varying different weights and a ball. Let's go ahead and get started in our warm up. Turn on your guys' watches if you're keeping track of your heart rate and how many calories you're burning. Let's start with the skip. Let's turn this into a jog with some arm circles. Okay, uh, let's circle it back. Arms in and out. All right, let's do some hamstring pullbacks. Get those arms moving. All right, go ahead and grab your ball, guys. Grab your 15 pounder or your heavier weight. We're gonna do those lying pullovers. We're gonna be down onto our shoulder blades, head resting on the ball. Dumbbell overhead and bring it back and forward. Keep that booty up in a tabletop position.
All right, let's get up. Go ahead and put your ball away for the next nine exercises. We're gonna grab our 10 pounders. We're doing Arnold press. All right, arms up. We're going out, all the way up, down, and in. And time. Whew. All right, we're gonna do bent over flies. So we're gonna be bending over at the waist, bringing those hands together in the center. Elbows are gonna be pointed out. We're bending at the elbow just slightly, and we're gonna pull those shoulder blades together in the back. And pull. Feel those shoulder blades coming together in the back. Okay, we're gonna put those down. You're gonna grab a weight that you wanna do for your kettlebell swing. I'm using a 15 pound kettlebell. For a swing, we're gonna come down right through the knees. Now our legs stay straight the whole time. We're just pivoting at the waist and then popping the hips forward. And go. When you pop the hips forward, your arms should just come up naturally. time. Okay, we're going to do that windmill. I'm grabbing my 12 and a half pounder for this. We're going to have that left arm up. Right hand comes down to that right foot and bring it back up to a standing position and rotate. And go. Look at that left hand as you come down. Time. Okay, we're gonna get down into our renegade row in plank. Putting your hands on either side of those dumbbells, get into plank position. You'll row one at a time. If you can't do this, just hold a plank. Let's go. The challenge is to keep your butt in a plank position all the way into parallel with the floor. And not rock at the hips too much.
and time. Okay, we're gonna do our windmill on the left side. Gonna raise that right arm up to the ceiling, bring that left hand to the left foot, and rotate across. time. Okay, bicep curls. Grab a weight that you can do together. 40 seconds of bicep curls together. Pull that belly button into the spine, nice strong legs. Keeping the elbows in tight to the body, let's go. Tricep extension. I'm gonna grab my 15 pounder for this. Going up and over the head. Let's bring it up and over and go. time. All right, guys, take a break. Got a minute and a half rest. We're going to go into our 30 second round with 15 second rest. Same 10 exercises. Your arms feeling pumped up. Mine are. <laughs> Already got up there a little bit too, so that's good. Okay, hey guys, we're gonna get started with the line pullover. So go ahead and grab your ball, grab your heavier weight that you're gonna use. Get ready, I'm gonna start the timer and meet you in the exercise. Let's go for 30 seconds. Keep your booty up in tabletop.
Okay, and time. Arnold press. Two, one, let's go. All right, and time. We're gonna go into our bent over fly. All right, let's bend it over. Hands together, pull. All right, and we're going into our kettlebell swing. Here we go. All right, we're going into our right. Um, let's see, I'm on my 12 and a half pounder. We're going in that windmill on that right side. Arms up and go. Rotate. All right, we're gonna do renegade row. Getting into that plank position. All right, jump out into plank. Here we go. Try not to rock the hips. And time. All right, left side. Right arm up, let's go. Windmill. time. All right, bicep curls. Let's go.
All right, let's drop one of those weights. Try some extensions. Bring it up and over the head. Let's go. Keep those elbows in closer to the head, not flaring out to the side. guys we're done with that round take a break minute and a half rest then we're gonna go to 20 second rounds shoulders. One more round. It's going to go fast. I'm going to change the timer here. Okay guys, our transitions here are gonna be really fast. First exercise is gonna be on our back. Grab your ball. We're going in 20 seconds. You guys will start ahead of me. I gotta start the timer and I'll meet you back at the ball. All right, get down on the ball. Twenty seconds. Time. All right, Arnold press. It's a quick transition. Three, two, and go. And time. Okay, bent over fly. Bending it over, hands together and fly. All right, kettlebell swing. time. Dumbbell windmill on that right side. Hand up. Go. All right, we're gonna do, let's just do the other side. We'll do renegade row after this left side. 
change it up a little since we don't have a lot of time in our transitions. Let's go, left side. All right, get down to the floor for your renegade row. Pop it out into plank, let's go. Time. All right, bicep curls. Go. Time. Okay, you're gonna drop one of those weights, tricep extension. Bring it up and over your head and go. All right, good job you guys. We're done with the workout for today. Let's go ahead and stretch out our bodies. Stretch out those arms. Let's bring the arms up and overhead. Deep breath in, exhale. One more time. Exhale, interlace those fingers behind you and pull. Shake it out. We're gonna take that right elbow into our left hand, up and over the head. Other side. Shake that out. Ooh. All right, let's touch our toes. Bending over at the waist, shake out the arms, like a rag doll. All right, come on up. Deep breath in, roll the shoulders. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Whew. Nice job, you guys. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for joining me all week. I will see you guys next week for a new set of workouts. Have an awesome weekend. See you later, everybody.